In a race against time after a cyber attack on one of the nation's largest fuel suppliers for the East Coast. The ransomware attack caused Georgia-based Colonial Pipeline to shut down. Pipeline is now scrambling to get services returned to normal before gas prices rise. So how does all of this impact us here in the Palmetto State? The pipeline is responsible for transporting gasoline and other fuel through 10 states between Texas and New Jersey which of course includes South Carolina. It delivers roughly 45% of the fuel consumed on the East Coast. That's everything from gasoline to heating oil and jet fuel. If the shutdown continues, there are concerns that gas prices and supplies could be impacted statewide. News 19's Kaylin Hagwood joins us now live with more on that part of the story. Kaylin. Well, Darcy, supply is certainly a concern, especially with the Colonial Pipeline down after a truck driver shortage made worse due to the pandemic had already been affecting some gas delivery times. Now, prices could also begin to be affected as well as some petroleum analysts estimate it could increase by 5 to 15 cents over the next week due to the pipeline issue. So it, it's not monumental. It's not a massive spike, but we probably will see prices drift higher. Uh, it could be a much bigger increase uh, if, like I said, if consumers flock to the pump and drain the system and there's no gasoline left, then the price increases may become more dramatic, uh, potentially uh, 10 to 25 cents a gallon. So it, it's, really, uh, it's really a little early to call simply because there's still gasoline out there. Uh, but at the onset, this is uh, going to be a slight impact on price, but more so an impact on supply. Well, some gas stations like here at the Corner Pantry in Sumter have posted signs limiting the amount of gas that people can buy. The biggest thing that analysts say that you should do at home, though, is to not hoard gas and instead conserve so that it doesn't create a bigger challenge bouncing back once the system is back online. Reporting live here in Sumter, I'm Kaylin Hagwood. JR? All right, Kaylin, thank you so much.